was kind of intimidating for me when people were first talking about, oh, this has flyback hands. I was really fascinated since I started learning more about watches. That's why I want to make videos and share that kind of information with you. So if you were to be in a social setting, you know exactly what people are talking about when they're saying, oh, the bezel is with diamond, the watch is a skeleton watch, this has certain caliber. It's just kind of like when you were talking about cars or handbags, you have a very specific language that people who are enthusiasts use and I'm like what are you referring to hi guys welcome back to a brand new video my name's Vivian what is yours today it's going to be the first video that I'm ever making on my first luxury about time pieces I promise you it's going to be really really fun so ladies listen up if you are going to expand your jewelry collection and maybe you should consider buying a timepiece next and before that I always felt very intimidated when people were talking about watches because there are a lot of different kinds of watches out there if it's a Swiss made watch price is always very high so how would you adjust spending your money on these watches sometimes cost a lot more than jewelry I don't like when the knowledge is shared in a way that is too complex because I wanted to understand in the most simple way so I am going to try my best to share that with you if this is the first video you're watching I cover topics of luxury from jewelry to handbags there are a lot of jewelry lover out there hello to you if you love jewelry you should definitely consider subscribe to the channel because I do a lot of in-depth reviews and if you haven't checked that out yet make sure you check the description box take a look before you invest on your next piece actually something that I have been wanting to get for the longest time. I look at it as a piece of jewelry. Between watches and jewelry, there's a huge difference, obviously. Watches have a lot of metal materials, and when you're wearing it with your piece of jewelry, sometimes it could enhance the look. Watches are made and formed with a lot of mechanisms. There's a lot of work that goes behind a watch. But don't worry, guys, I got you covered. And today we're really gonna dive in, but I'm not going to make it super hard to understand the panther watch is currently priced at 8,400 US dollars retail if you are a jewelry lover like I am the more comparable product that Cartier has are jewelry and the price for the love bracelet is currently six thousand three hundred dollars and the price for the just on clue is six thousand eight hundred dollars and watches are just going to be a little bit more this time piece pretty much is stainless steel based with gold detailing that's kind of intersecting in between and I personally love the looks of a mixed gold watch I think the first style that I fell in love with was actually a stainless steel watch if you guys all heard of Rolex they're really known for their stainless steel watches because the look of the watch is so iconic almost Anybody who has heard of Rolex recognizes those shapes. It's very affordable when it comes down to entry-level watch. So a lot of people tend to go for stainless steel watches. As for Cartier, this one is something that is very straightforward for a woman's watch. It's ultra thin and you can see the width of the watch is really, really thin and it matches well with your jewelry stack. I just really love the sleek look of it. Not to mention, I first laid my eyes on the Cartier Santos watch well right now I guess the collection is considered vintage because they are no longer making these smaller models for the Santos watch but on the secondary market I still see a lot of them and I was very tempted to get one the style of that watch is kind of similar to the Cartier Panther watch besides that the bracelets are different the design on the dial is very similar the dial is basically the face of the watch that was my first love and I just really like the detail on the bracelet 
bracelets of the Santos watch because it kind of has like the screws that reminds me of the love bracelet like the impression of a screws kind of going around throughout the bracelet I thought it was super cool and as for this very particular timepiece I think there are currently 36 models for the lineup next we're just gonna be breaking down parts of the watches for you so you know what it's referred to The link that's connecting the watch is called the bracelet and if it's a leather band it's usually called the leather strap on the front side of the watch where you can see roman numerals or sometimes it's numbers it's actually called the watch dial companies like to use different you know symbols or numbers to represent these time all right so this is the front of the watch the one that is moving is the second hand every time the second hand makes one round there's 60 seconds and the longer hand is the minute hand and the shortest hand is the hour hand and this one has a date window as well um, I obviously wanted to leave it on December 25th I'm <laughs> just kidding but that's a date window so you can see what date it is the gold part of the watch is actually called the bezel and on the right hand side where the blue ball is is actually called the crown basically wind the watch to give it more power the crown in this case is used to set the watch the hours the minutes the date etc but if it's on a mechanical watch um, usually it's also used for winding this watch is not a complicated watch because this is actually powered by quartz so you will see a lot of watches that's made as a quartz watch watch connoisseurs they always prefer a manual watch because you know that's the art of movement of the caliber and the mechanisms it's kind of just like cars it's like an automatic system and it's almost going to be running accurately however for the mechanical watches you do have to wind them from time to time a lot of watches right now they do have a winding system that's you know set into place so when you're moving your hand you're winding the watch a lot of times it's made much easier it's straightforward it's like driving an automatic car instead of a stick shift car when you open these here this is actually called the double deployant buckle because you can see that there are two sides and it's both folded in there's also the pin buckle which is kind of like our belts there are holes punched throughout the watch strap and you can adjust that accordingly but this is a double deployant buckle I think it's very well designed because once you close it you almost don't know where the closing is and that gives you that very effortless look if we turn the watch over back side of the watch it's literally called the watch back and on there you can see that there are some engravings on this particular piece and then it tells you that it is a quartz movement a lot of times if it's a mechanical watch companies manufacturers these watches they would like to display the beautiful mechanism because it's a very complex system a very well-made mechanical watch could have up to 400 500 parts all gathered in one it's another form of art this one is a quartz watch and under this there it says Swiss made which indicates you know the country of the origin and as you guys know Switzerland is really known for watchmaking and a lot of the huge luxury brands have their manufacturers in Switzerland I hope it's not too complicated but once you start hearing these terms you're gonna get used to it but I do think as a woman or if you are someone that's watching right now you probably do care about what the watches look like on hand so I am going to try that for you questions or did I confuse you already if you're watching up until this point I assume that you like this video I promise the other videos on the channel is just as informational as this one so if you want to check the other videos out I made a lot of 
jewelry review videos so go ahead and check the description box below there are a lot of watches that's going around on the secondary market and another thing that people really consider is really the value of these pieces Cartier for example they're really known for their jewelry they have ventured out in watchmaking world for a very very long time as well they have made a lot of iconic watches tank watch the Santos just to name a few but I do know that they have made a lot of variations from the original heritage from the very beginning in terms of value a lot of women they think it's more straightforward just to go and get jewelry I think I'm one of those as well however the reality is depending on the brand and the model a quartz watch you can almost compare it with jewelry because the prices will be similar if it's made with stainless steel or with mixed gold however if you go into gold bracelet and with diamond embellishments on the bezel that is a different story but I do think if you were to compare this watch right now with some of the Cartier jewelry pieces, which is either the love bracelet or the just on clue, the jewelry I would say tend to hold the value a little bit better because the demand for them are always high. Just like if you and I were to choose between a watch and these bracelets, we're probably gonna choose bracelets if we don't own any of it yet. What happens is after you've owned, you know, a few pieces of jewelry, you want to expand your collection, then you will look into time pieces. And I do think this piece is a great piece to start your collection. I find it to be very complimenting to wear this particular watch with my jewelry stack. If you like it, let me know and give this video a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more watch reviews, definitely hit me up. You can reach out to me either on YouTube or Instagram. The handle is over here. Make sure you find us so we can stay connected. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye. It's time.